Hey, it's Dan here. Today I'm going to be making some cabbage rolls and uh, doing it my style. It's a little bit different than everybody else does, but this is what I'm using. I got four of these small cabbage heads. Usually I use two large, but uh, they didn't have any large at the store. I've got uh, 2.25 pounds of beef. I got some beef stock back there. I got that picked Sweet Farm seasoning blend. I'll use about 15 of those crackers and just some easy boil rice. Um, this is my sauce right there that I'm going to be using. I'll get everything mixed up and I will be back when I'm ready to uh, put everything in the pot. Alright, I'm back. Let me uh, light this. I've got my uh, 9 quart Dutch oven. There we are. Um, reason I didn't show you rolling them and boiling the cabbage and everything there's a million recipes and a million videos on YouTube of everybody doing it I didn't want to bore you but I just figured I'd show you kind of how I do mine the uh, leftover heads I like to throw some cabbage in on the bottom because what's better with cabbage roll than uh, more cabbage But I don't want to fill it up too much because I have uh, 30 cabbage rolls to try to go in here. And if any of you been watching what I've been cooking lately and everything, I've been trying to keep everything low carb. Even though with the rice in this it's hard to do. I only used 4 ounces of rice and uh, that was for all 30 rolls. So I believe it's still a little bit on the low carb and if not I'll just consider today our cheat day. But I got that cabbage going right there. Alright, now I'm going to put one jar of my pasta sauce in there. I'm going to put my beef broth in there. And then I'm going to start putting my cabbage rolls in. Some are bigger than others, but they'll all cook up nicely. I'm just going to lay them in this liquid here. And while I'll do that, I'll see you here in just a little bit. Alright, I got all 30 of those in there. Now I'm going to take my second jar and cover all these. And I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let this simmer for one hour. I'm not even going to open it or check it until an hour. And then I'll open one up and I will see if they're done. Alright, it's been one hour. I'm curious as to... Ooh, that's warm. Okay. I'm going to turn this heat off for a second. Alright. Looks like a couple of them unrolled themselves. Let me see what we got going on. I want to make sure that everything's done. Oh, that one just came apart. Let me try to get one that's uh, intact.
All right, I just cut this open. Everything inside's cooked real good and everything. So I'm gonna take this inside and we're gonna have dinner. If you guys like watching my videos and everything and enjoy what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, send me a comment or anything, any ideas you want me to do, what I should be doing better, what I am doing good, just let me know. Y'all have a blessed day.